Hi all. In this video, we will discuss about intelligent maps in NPM. What intelligent maps are? It will show you how entities are connected with each other. They have dependency on each other and what all components are part of that entity and their connection. The, the intelligent maps could be user defined or inherited uh, through the custom uh, which has been learned by the system itself or you can define your own custom maps. It provides a view of the topology connection. I have HC, HCO demo environment access. In demo environment, uh, there are predefined intelligent maps which are pre-populated or we can create maps by ourselves as well. So I'll discuss about both maps with you in this demo session. This is our HCO demo solar winds URL, which is accessible to all. To access predefined maps and to create new maps, we need to follow certain steps to reach on the console. Go to settings, click all settings. Click on manage maps. In the manage maps, you will see there are already a lot of maps are already being created. Either these all are created by system, by learning through the configuration or these may be created by the team who is managing this demo environment. Let's see one already defined maps. This is Office 365 map. That's how all the entities are connected with each other. If you click on it, you will get to know the detail about the node what the node is, how they are connected, what all dependencies they have with each other. These maps are predefined, but we can edit them. Click more, click on edit. There we have the options now, we can edit on the left hand side, we have other nodes which we can add in the same dashboard. The name, this is the name of the map. We can edit it. You see it has been changed to Office 365 to 3651. We can change the background color from light to dark. We can make, make uh, this icon style as a map or as a status only. Status only provides you more visibility of each entity. Also, if you want to make it publicly visible or li limited to your access only, that's how you can enable and disable public visibility. So connections are there. If you want to remove the dependency connections, click on it. See, all these are not having any connection. There we see, same as the member of. So these all are member of this node or entity. If we check this topology, as we discussed, there are two way one is auto generated connection and one is manually created connection. Since this is already pre-populated, so there should not be any manually created connection. Okay, so these are manually created connection. Manually created connection means something which is decided by user, uh, not tracked by system configuration. These are the auto-generated connection.
connection style here it do you want to show the matrices always yes and you can change the background color as well if you want to make the background color to different also you can put some images there where you see one image has been added but i'll make it default so these are the pre populated already existing maps now we will work on a map uh, we will create a map by ourselves so we will go back to the main page settings manage maps here you click on new map on the new map you will get an empty portion where you can drag and drop nodes or entities and make connection between them if it is not configurable or learned by the system i'll give you an example like for this node there are three dot click on this three dot click on show related there is no connected entities click on show related entities so these are the related entities which are not being correct connected so far so if i drag and drop here two entities i'll go back that's how it is automatically creating connections and providing you a visual how entities and nodes are connected with each other. the same behavior it having as uh, same configurations uh, it is having you can define the size if you want to make the changes let's suppose if you want to make changes in this node name let me add some random test see it has been added you can make changes in the font if you want to use some other icons that's how you can make changes status badge whether this is up what is the status of this node style as we discussed you can fill the background color want to add any label you can add it there you you can provide any name to this map once you make it publicly visible it will be available in the list of all maps if you want to see the dependency see that's how dependency has been visible these are not auto generated manually i have created the connection so that's all about the intelligent maps you can drag and drop as many as you want one more point we can discuss i would like to explain you in case any entity or any node which is not connected directly or any how not been the the relation is not been recognized by the solar wind system you can drag and drop any node here select both the nodes and this is, uh, this icon will be visible click on it configure click on configure if any interface has been monitored through solar wind so it will be visible there is no interface me click other i can see one interface there but since it is not having any interface so let me select another node one interface is here one i have selected 
फीचर इज नॉट अवेलेबल बट इट विल क्रिएट ए कनेक्शन देयर दैट्स हाउ यू कैन मैनुअली यू कैन क्रिएट एज मैनी एज यू वॉन्ट द टेपोलॉजी इन द सिस्टम विच आर कनेक्टेड विथ ईच अदर बट नॉट लर्न बाय द सिस्टम दैट्स ऑल अबाउट इंटेलिजेंट मैप्स इन केस यू हैव एनी डाउट एनी क्वेरी please feel free to ask me the question i will provide you the best that i know thank you